Hello guys, what is going on? Zach here, bringing you some more of GML action, or some more GML action, I should say. And we do have Doubt versus Jordan, game two of uh, two, of course, between them. And it's round three of the GML right now, and I'm getting a little bit confused, to be honest with you, because, as I've already said, round four has already started, and my videos are delayed, so I've got to cast my mind back to the end of last week, and, uh, and take myself back to where they were back then. But uh, as usual, if you haven't seen game one between these two guys, then you can click down to the bottom right right now, and that will take you to game one. And I'm going to assume you've clicked away in three, two, one, and whatever. Uh, but if you're still here, I'm assuming you have watched game one, and then you will know that Jordan is actually leading one nil right now. So Jordan going into this with an advantage, of course, uh, with one nil, and maybe because he did win. Bear in mind, Doubt's home map going to be feeling very confident on his home map, which is my migration right here. So Doubt going to be looking for a win here and he's going to need it as well because he really cannot afford to give Jordan three points. He's further ahead in the league than Jordan right now. Giving Jordan three points would put Jordan up to the second or third place I think. Um, so he's going to have to be careful and I'm sure he will want to take this game from Jordan and oh no 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 where's this villager going? I thought for a second he was going to dock on that lake and I was like no what are you doing? Um, but of course he's not going to do that. But anyway uh, Doubt in red uh, over to the left of the map playing as Vikings and Jordan over to the right playing as Vikings too. Uh, of course it is a Viking war on migration and this is Jordan's home map so um, as I said before he did manage to take the home map from Doubt so perhaps feeling pretty confident about this one we'll have to wait and see of course. But judging by his map, Jordan is going to want to get pretty aggressive early on because his gold is ever so close to this shoreline here. And uh, that is really bad because Doubt, of course, can just come along and with a few galleys and pick off some villagers very, very easily. Especially as Jordan has no other gold on this island, as you can see. And uh, same for Doubt as well. He has no other gold, but his gold is quite inland, very close to his town centre, very safe. And that is quite unfortunate for Jordan, I've got to say. Doubt, though, I've just noticed hasn't found the rest of his sheep yet. Migration, it's always a little bit awkward finding your starting sheep because they are often in a very awkward position. But Jordan already finding his sheep, uh, luring his deer in already as well. So after a reasonable start for him, and he's already, uh, if we can see just uh, his point of view, already explored his whole island so he knows exactly what's up. And uh, he can even start luring his deer now with his uh, with his scout cavalry, so he's going to be doing that. And Doubt, on the other hand, well, he's just found his sheep. His deer are quite far away, so that's going to be a really hard lure, actually, and that's kind of unfortunate for him. He might attempt it, he might not, but you've got to bear in mind, this stone is blocking this little area here. You can't sneak anything through that gap, and that means if... Uh, Doubt wants to lure his deer, he's going to have to take them all the way around here, all the way around here, all the way around here, back to the town centre. And that is a real pain in the ass. And he might attempt it, his scout is over there, um, but luring these deer is going to be really important if you want to get ahead in this game because as we can see Jordan already luring his deer in now with his scout cavalry and they're really not got that far to go so Jordan he's got the advantage that his deer are close by they're lureable but he has the disadvantage of the gold and Doubt of course having the advantage of the gold being unharassable from the shoreline but the disadvantage of the fact that oops my deer are miles away and they are going to be a nightmare to lure all the way back to my town centre so it looks to me like Doubt is not going to go lure his deer in, and this is interesting, he's actually taking berries very early on, even though he has sheep right there, and I'm not really sure why that is, to be perfectly honest with you, usually you don't see players taking berries for quite some time, that could be to do with the fact that his deer are so far away, but still you would think she makes more sense to make sheep, uh, take sheep even. So Doubt, not off to the best of starts, I've got to say right now, obviously without these deer he's going to be a little bit delayed, and as usual with migration we don't see them advancing to the feudal age for quite some time as the standard sort of strategy is to go for the fast castle and uh, upgrade to the castle age really quickly get out the war galleys and have a lot of fishing ships on the water there we go dock coming out for Jordan already and a fishing ship being created right there in a reasonable time actually doubt going with a uh, dock over on this side and he is going to be getting out some fishing ships as well but a little bit later on I've got to say it looks like he's falling slightly behind here and he's still not going to attempt to lure these deer it seems or he is but not really doing so well so 
interesting start for Dow. Uh, interesting, definitely, that he had so many villagers on berries here instead of taking his sheep. Perhaps he was just really low on, on food or something. I, I can't say for sure, to be honest with you. But he's going to be getting quite a lot of wood collectors now to make uh, plenty of fishing ships because he's going to need extra fishing ships in order to get up to the feudal age without these deer of course so Jordan off to a pretty good start indeed I'm going to fast forward things a little bit whilst these guys start uh, start going but my suspicion is that Jordan will reach the feudal age first and then he will be able to secure his water and he's going to need to do that because of this gold of course and then once he gets castle we can think about taking the mainland going for perhaps some gold over here that might be in a safer spot so you can see sending villagers over now to not get gold of course not yet he's not up to the feudal age yet but more wood and interesting again he's put this wood camp here um, on the shore side again very easily harassable by doubts ships so Jordan playing a little, little bit sort of uh, I wouldn't say risky but uh, his villagers are certainly near to the shore and that is what you want to avoid if possible he must be confident then that he can actually take the water now just starting to take berries and we'll probably see a mill there at some point from him as well just needs a little bit more uh, wood to do so and extra fishing ships coming out where's the second dock oh it's already out second dock on this side and I'm surprised that he didn't dock on this side uh, the fish aren't as good of course but it's going to be less distance for his uh, for his galleys to travel to protect this area but we'll wait and see to see what happens and uh, still no mill over here maybe he's not even going to build one because they're not that far from the town center but ideally mill is better because he's going to need a mill to make farms anyway so he may as well mill those instead of keeping his villagers walking so far but uh, for the time being continuing fishing ship production and his score is well in the lead of Dow. of course Dow still without these deer and he did actually take one deer because building a dock over on this side killed it with his villager and making full use of that villager walking time or villager time um, to make full use of that and really just juice them for what they're worth I suppose you could say uh, second lumber cap for him as well and lots of wood coming in because he is going to need a lot more fishing ships as I said uh, to account for the fact he didn't take those deer a little bit earlier on and Jordan too with a hell of a lot of wood collectors starting to go to gold now so it looks like he's ready to go feudal yep he is going up to feudal and he is going to go quite heavy into gold as well well not heavy into gold but a few gold collectors ready to get out those galleys and then go up to the castle age in quite a nice time um, they're actually closer than you might think because they've not actually got that far to go to get round to each other and of course now Jordan's sending this fishing ship out he's gone all the way around the map to scout and he knows that doubt is going to be in this little area now he knows that because of course he can see this island here and there was nothing over in this corner or on the far side so he knows exactly where Doubt is, and the hard truth is, the unfortunate truth for Doubt, is that they are very close together, and now Jordan, adding a dock on this side um, to get his uh, ships closer to where Doubt is going to be. There we go, you can see all of his fishing ships there, and he's going to be up to the feudal age first. I don't know if he's going to go heavy pressure though. He could just go heavy pressure in the feudal age and take out a lot of Doubt's fishing ships before Doubt can actually reach the castle age. Um, so he might delay his castle age a little bit in favour of going for some more ships. But at the moment he only has three docks so he could just still be going for the fast castle. Fourth dock being added on and we'll see what he decides to do. He could just still go for the fast castle but he could go for lots of galleys and just take out these fishing ships really quickly and uh, go really high pressure and that would uh, really really hurt Doubt actually if he loses all these fishing ships that will give Jordan a huge advantage as we have a look how many he's actually got back on this side. Doubt right now doesn't know exactly where Jordan is he could assume he's over in this corner but that means he could go this way or he could go down the bottom way which uh, you not ideal because if he goes the top way then he's going to be wasting galley time but there we go now Jordan up to the feudal age and we'll see the galleys coming out and we'll see if he actually goes for a fast castle he's not making the market or the blacksmith just yet so he could be going for a very 
ag big aggression, very big aggression here. Uh, it depends if he continues to make galleys or if he slows down galley production to upgrade or not. But if you can see, he just got double bit axe as well, which does mean that he'll be gathering wood a lot faster now as he does have a ton of wood collectors. And he's sending more villagers to gold, which could mean that he's going even heavier into galleys. We'll see what he does. He's going to have galleys out in just a second. No doubt he'll go straight for these fishing ships and doubt with only one dock on this side. It's going to be in a little bit of a bad situation to reinforce. He's only got three docks, uh, which is one less than Jordan, of course, and he's going to be a little bit hard pressed to reinforce this area as these guys have to go all the way around this side in order to get over there and protect these ships. So Jordan looking in a nice little position, sending out galleys already. And there's the market for him. The blacksmith's just going up as well. And we'll see a reasonably fast castle time, actually, as well. And it's kind of mad not to. You've got so many fishing ships on the water. You may as well get up to the castle age because you can still do it whilst producing galleys consistently as well. Just getting population capped there. Not ideal, but his house is on the way to save the day. And he's going to have to add quite a few more houses on because his population is going to inflate extremely fast. Now he's got uh, four docks going completely uh, working non-stop. So he's moving out already with some galleys. He could be going straight over to Doubt here. And Doubt, interestingly enough, is going the wrong way. As I said, he didn't scout with that fishing ship, so he's actually got no idea where Jordan is. And as Jordan came down from the top side, he might assume that Jordan's in this corner. But now, that's a little bit unfortunate. He's going out this side. He's going to realize, oops, Jordan isn't over here. And now... He's going to be like, ah crap, because uh, there's some galleys coming over this side, and he's going to be very hard pressed to actually defend against this. Now Jordan is adding on a fifth dock, and he'll be able to upgrade very quickly to uh, War Galley once he reaches the Castle Age, and a nice time for him as well. If we have a look, Doubt not clicked up just yet, he will do in just a second, but... Jordan with a very clear advantage here and he's going to be able to push that one. Doubt now going to have to move all of his fishing ships away. He's going to be fleeing for his life. Jordan going to be able to take out galleys extremely easily. If we have a look, uh, he's going to be able to kill that one off very easily indeed. And now going to be chasing these fishing ships around and these guys are not going to be gathering anything which is obviously not good and they're in a bit of a pickle because they are going to be killed off very easily. In fact, if we have a look that one going to go down in just a second and every fishing ship that he's lost is a huge blow to doubt because they really are an important unit in uh, keeping your economy going especially in migration where as you can see no farms whatsoever it's all about wood it's all about gold and the fishing ships the only source of food income which allows him of course to create villages get up to the castle age in a reasonable time and get up to the imperial age as well so doubt uh, not looking so good in this situation and jordan going to keep the pressure on he's almost at the castle age more galleys coming out consistently and he is going to be going for a very fast rush over here and he's still got the galley advantage on the water and doubt really not looking good at all i've got to say Doubt as well, only with the four docks right now. He's added another one on, but Jordan with five. So he's going to be able to keep the numbers ahead of what Doubt can produce. Castle Age for him, and we will see Bodkin Arrow straight away. We will see War Galley straight away. And Doubt is looking to be massively behind here, as Jordan's going to be really putting the pressure on. Doubt, of course, going to have to run with his galleys because he knows that War Galley is being upgraded. He knows that Bodkin Arrow is going to be upgraded in just a second, and he needs to keep these galleys alive because if they are lost then Jordan is going to be able to take the game with no troubles whatsoever for the time being though Jordan looks like he's uh, kind of retreating and as I said before down on three sorry four docks but this dock really not going to be useful for much because Jordan can very easily um, kill whatever comes out of this dock with, with little or no problems whatsoever. There we go, War Galley upgraded, Bod Camera upgraded, Careening upgraded as well. He's gone for the plus one defense on his ships and uh, that is now going to be a huge, huge advantage for him and he can now push out and if he's, if he does this well he could even kill a lot of these fishing ships and it would be a very fast GG from Doubt if that is the case. Jordan just needs to get up to that side and take them out. Doubt of course going to be doing the same. Botkin Arrow straight away. War Galley straight away as well but I don't see careening from him and we've already seen how careening can really affect uh, the actual um, 
the effect, affect the ability of these ships and actually change the course of a battle. Uh, we saw it with Dog versus Tim, I think it was, where Dog lost the water to Tim, and uh, that was really big play by Tim because he just had that careening. And even though Dog had the advantage at the start, um, that was really lost very quickly. But look at this now. This is really bad for Doubt. He's cornered. He can't escape with his fishing ships. And if Jordan wins this battle on the water, which he could do, he has got careening, of course. He could win this battle. Really nice micro trying to avoid the uh, fire from Doubt's ships. If he can win this, then all the fishing ships are in the corner and they are going to be very easily killed. Coming in with reinforcements now. The university going up for Doubt as well, but he no ballistics just yet. He can't afford it. Jordan, on the other hand, He's got his university. I don't know if he's got ballistics. He might do, but look at this. Going to be cornering Doubt here, and Doubt is not going to be able to escape with these fishing ships, and Jordan is going to take them all out with no troubles whatsoever. Jordan has still got tons of fishing ships, of course, and that is going to really help him out. Delaying Doubt's reinforcements from this bottom dock, and now, as you can see, all of the fishing ships are his. I think he's got ballistics as well. He's managing to hit all of these fishing ships no matter what, so uh, it looks like Jordan might just take this game. His score is already a 1,000 in the lead, and a huge play by him. He's getting really aggressive, and Doubt GGing right there, as he knows he's not going to be able to come back from that. He's got not got enough ships to protect his fishes, and uh, and after the fishes go, well, that's pretty much it, unfortunately. Jordan played that one almost perfectly, I've got to say. Uh, getting up to the castle age in a reasonable time, getting the aggression in nice and early, and a lot of players tend to sort of hold back on migration. We saw that with Chris and Tim, definitely. They both sort of held back. They weren't uh, getting really aggressive. But because Jordan did that early scout with his uh, fishing ship, he realized how close Doubt was, and he managed to really put the pressure on from an early age. And then that uh, gave him that huge advantage that we just saw him take. Also as well, uh, I don't know how much of an effect it really had, but losing these deer at the start for, for Jordan, Doubt, uh, affected his time at the start, definitely, allowing Jordan to to get up a little bit sooner and have a little bit of a food boost. So, very well played by Jordan, taking the set to nil. That means he does gain three points and Doubt gains zero. And I think that puts them all on about level field. I think there's a tie for second place between about three players right now. So, uh, stay tuned because round four will be coming up on stream a little bit later on. So, uh, if you're watching this now, then head over to twitch.tv forward slash zero empires. I'll probably be streaming some more GML games from round four. Um, and I might have a co commentator, as I said before. The Viper might join me, Wack might join me, VH might even join me if he's not too busy. And uh, it should be all good fun. So, uh, head over to there and I will see you next time.